Okay, so, so far we've been talking about uh, reading uh, and writing data to our active sheet. Now, what I'm gonna show you in this video is how to write or read data from a different sheet. So a lot of times you may be like, this might be your active sheet, but you may want to write your data to another sheet. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit another plus and add another like sheet three. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how we can actually write data to sheet three while our active sheet is this one. All right, so let's go back to our code editor. So if you're not sure what's going on here on this, uh, particular in this particular script that you see on the screen go back to the first and second video and watch those first and then come back to this one so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna first comment some things here I'm gonna call this simple for loops and last time I did show you how to write a comment which is this so you put this double slash and you write a comment now that's what we call a single line comment in JavaScript. Now there's also a multi-line comment in JavaScript. And the way you do it, you put this slash and asterisk to open it and you do this asterisk slash to actually close the comment. So that's gonna be our comment. So instead of deleting it, I'll just keep it there. So uh, now what I want to do, I want to actually write to our sheet three that I have there while being on this particular active sheet. So again, I'm gonna access that through our application, our app variable. So I'm gonna start with my app variable dot. So what I want to get is before, if you remember, I was getting the active spreadsheet, which is still what I want to do. I want to get the current active spreadsheet, which is the spreadsheet that's currently open. Now inside of that spreadsheet, now what I want to do, I want to get to that sheet three. I don't want the active sheet. So before I was getting the active sheet, what I want to do right now is uh, get, simply get the sheet, this is sheet, sheet three. So I'm gonna keep scrolling down. I don't remember what the name of the method was, but there it is get sheet by name. That's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna use this method and it's a string name as the argument and that means we have to specify the name of the sheet we want to get and the name was sheet three if you remember. So I'm gonna type sheet three and it's text so string uh, in quotes meaning. So that's gonna get the name of the sheet. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is again, assign it to a variable. So I'm gonna do variable, uh, I don't know, target sheet, I guess, equals this. So great, so we assign it to a variable. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to write to that target sheet. So I'll say target sheet, and again, we'll do our get range method. And then let's just write to our A1 cell. So that's gonna be the first column and first row. And then in that particular uh, sheet, we'll, and A1 cell will write something. So I'm gonna just put a number uh, and that's gonna be, I don't know, seven semicolon to end the line gonna go ahead and hit save and let's go ahead and run this. So let's go back and check. So that's sheet three, open it. And you can see how we were able to write seven to our sheet three specifically without being on sheet three at all. So that was good. So that's our example of uh, select a sheet by name, right? So, uh, perfect. So uh, now what we can do, we could, for example, take something from sheet three and then write that to sheet two. So let's say we want to take what's in this A1 cell in our sheet three and then place that 
seven or whatever it is in uh, this A10 cell on our sheet two. So that will be an example how to read and write, I guess. So let's go ahead and read target sheet. So it's, we again get the range. So in our target sheet, uh, the target sheet was the one that had that seven in it, right? That's what we write. Now in this, t this time I'm gonna get the value instead of setting the value. So I'm gonna get the value and we want to assign that value to a variable. So it's gonna be variable temp number equals this. That's our temporary number. We're gonna get that value that's currently seven in there. And then what we want to do, we want to write to sheet two, this 10 row and the first column, right? So I'm gonna go back here and uh, Again, let's go ahead and write uh, our, oh, the first thing we have to do, we, we have to select our sheet. So to speed this up, I'm just gonna copy this line. So this point will do a new one. So it will be, uh, I don't know, I guess second sheet. And that's gonna be sheet two instead of sheet one, so we'll get that sheet two and assign it to a variable. And now, because we have our second sheet, so let's copy and paste this. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm curious if you do the variable, does it actually auto-complete it? No, nope, apparently not. Nope. All right, so that's fine. So that's our dot notation. So let's go ahead and get range. And I don't know, I believe I said the 10th row and the first column. That's what we want. And we want to set the value to whatever this temporary number is. So currently it's seven. Oops, semicolon, save this. Okay, so apparently uh, regular expression literal. So let's see what, oh. That's what we did, so not a comment. Now it's a comment, so we're fine. So let's go ahead and run this. And uh, I ran it while being on sheet two. I probably should have, should have done it while being on sheet one, but you can see how seven became seven. Now I'm gonna show you an example by running on sheet one so you can see that it still works. But we'll go ahead and change this to some other value. So we'll call this uh, some number. So that's what I have now in sheet three. And I'm gonna go to sheet one, go back and run the same thing. Go back and if we go to sheet two, whoops, that didn't work. So we'll have to troubleshoot and see why it didn't work. Oh, it actually did work. It's just what happened is, I forgot that I had some code before that was setting the value before to seven and then it actually gets the number. So what we have to do, if, if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna go some number. So I'll have to comment this line because we don't want to set the value to seven on our target sheet, which is our sheet three. So let's go to our sheet one again. Let's run, hopefully I don't have anything higher now that sets the value to it. So that's why I probably shouldn't mix all this code together, but fair enough, let's go ahead and run this anyways. So let's go back, check here, some numbers. So we grab the value from sheet three put it on sheet two while our active sheet is sheet one. So that's how you can actually work with different sheets uh, while they're not active sheets in your spreadsheet. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, subscribe to get new videos on Google Apps Scripts and that will be it for this one.